to extra depth we go. When we talk about mental health, we often think of how a person lives with a mental challenge, but a group in El Paso is researching the physical connection between the brain and mental illness. ABC 7's Be Mindful reporter Avery Martinez shows you the work that scientists are doing at the Southwest Brain Bank. I want to warn you that you will see human organs in this story, but first, what is a brain bank? It's a research facility for dozens of donated human brains, and it's located at Texas Tech University Health Science Center, El Paso. So this is really an opportunity to understand what underlies behavior and behavior that's gone awry with mental illness. The purpose of the bank's research is to better understand how the brain functions and how it changes when affected with psychiatric illness, and they do this by testing brain tissue. Researchers have been identified the frontal lobe maybe one of the areas involved in depression. So we can get a piece of frontal lobe from the healthy control and from someone that suffers of depression. And then we can perform different types of scientific analysis. The Southwest Brain Bank works with families of dozens of brain donors to improve research. And these brains belong to people with substance use disorders, bipolar challenges, depression, suicidality, or other mental challenges. The bank focuses on Hispanics, which have been historically under-researched. The great benefit in a border region is that most of the population here in El Paso is higher than 80 percent. And that can help science to increase diversity of samples. We need to start adding minorities to our studies their work is supported in part by the Robert E. and Evelyn McKee Foundation, providing needed data on Hispanic populations. The Hispanic population is like the nation's largest racial ethnic minority group. Some researchers are from El Paso. Doing this work is a dream come true. I've met a lot of people in my life who have been affected by mental illness and you know, to be able to be doing research that's not just in mental illness, but more specifically in our own community is something that's very, very um, near and dear to my heart. Their work covers a wide field as needs are evolving. The brain um, has traditionally been thought of as a static and a, a non-changing uh, organ. In reality, it's uh, constantly changing. Mental illness can have a devastating impact on individuals and families, and many of their causes remain unknown. The researchers at the Brain Bank hope their work will help in understanding mental challenges and developing treatments and cures in the future. I'm Avery Martinez for ABC7.